The village of Kulasuk is remote, wild and still in touch with the old ways. Just 200 people live here. Even so, it's one of the larger communities on the thinly populated east coast of Greenland. Sled dogs sit out the end of summer, eager for the winter snows. Humpbacks blow. Just one of the whale species that feast in these rich seas. Here, to a degree, life still depends on the yield of the Arctic waters, as it has done for thousands of years. Eustace Utwak still hunts and fishes for a living. I have uh, six hooks we put to water. Every time we catch six uh, fish. Six hooks, six fish, every time. But things are changing on multiple fronts. After millennia of subsistence living, the Inuit are in the middle of a social and cultural transformation as Greenland seeks its place in the wider world. And it's happening at precisely the moment climate change is upending the environment. These empty houses tell a story of a population that's pretty much halved in 20 years or so. And those that have gone have either moved to the nearest town of Tassiak here on the east coast or even further afield to the capital Nook on the other side of Greenland. And for those that remain, well, they live in this warming world of ours. And it's a world that their ancestors would scarcely recognize. Mountain guide Matt Spensley has lived among the Inuit in Kulasuk for 20 years, working with tourists who've come for the adventure of the wild. He's seen firsthand how fast things have changed. I think because the, the year and, and the rhythm of the seasons is, is so important to the people here, uh, in, in the sense that the ice forms uh, in, in early winter and breaks in, in, in early, early June, usually. And then that's tied in with all the animals arriving, you know, the fish and the seals and the whales. Uh, when all those patterns become kind of messed up, um, and essentially that, that is the case for people, they just don't recognise them anymore. Um, yeah, I think it's a real challenge. It's a, it's a huge challenge for, for people's way of life. Everything is on an epic scale here with 30 metres under the glacier. You think about this just replicated underneath all the glaciers? Yeah, across absolutely. So anywhere that that melt is going on, and that's a particularly pertinent this summer because that's obviously also happened even up in the summer to the ice cap at over 3,000 metres. That, that melt's happening and that water has to go somewhere. Here in the Arctic, the old and the new are now side by side. The future for both in these changing times is hard to discern. What is certain is the wonder and the power of the natural world and the real and present danger created by upsetting its balance. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Kulasuk, Greenland.